Walk, Ride, Fly, bringing you the latest updates from New York City. All right, enough with the introduction. So today I am going to a Wall Street area, a financial district, to see what's going on down there. Uh, to see if there are any changes. Uh, so I'm starting at Zuccotti Park, right next to uh, the uh, One World Trade Center. Uh, it's behind it. It's uh, it's right next to Oculus as well. If you can see it through uh, the cracks there, far on the right hand side between the buildings. That's where I was uh, two days ago. And today, I am going to explore another side of New York, the Financial District, and uh, surrounding areas. And uh, let's see, let's see what's new out there. To see if there are any changes. So, uh, by the way, today is uh, March 18th, and I believe. Is uh, 5:15 or 5:20 p.m. So the sun hasn't set yet. This is supposed to be rush hour, but uh, it does not feel like rush hour at all. It is anything but rush hour. This park is normally swarmed with people getting out of work, and uh, there would be a lot of. Uh, vendors here selling food a lot of food carts but today I only see one food cart and there's another one right across the street on the left side that's about it ah, yeah so things are changing quickly and I took the e-train to get here and uh, to be honest uh, maybe I only saw maybe five or six people on the train the whole ride uh, from uh, 53rd and Lexington close to uh, Times Square to where I am right now. Okay. So now time to go to Wall Street. feel like a Sunday morning over here and uh, it's not today is uh, Wednesday this time is a busy time for everyone but you don't see as many people obviously people have chosen to uh, work from home or uh, just you know, stay in until the crowds disperse and uh, they leave work a little later. I mean, but majority of majority of people are staying at home. And that's the Trinity Church right here. Lots of history. Lots to see. Very old church. figure I show you a couple of things on the way. It's a beautiful church. It was under construction for some time. I'm not sure if it's completed, but regardless, I don't think uh, anyone is allowed to get into uh, churches anymore. I saw a church uh, that had a sign outside that said, uh, let's pray online. So. You know, there's this uh, website you go to, you know, just for virtual prayers. That's going to be the new norm for a little bit, for some time. It just, it's just weird that, you know, you pray at home and never, never go to church. It's going to be difficult to get used to for some people. Especially people who are used to... Uh, going to church every Sunday and meeting friends and, you know, just 
just uh, supporting each other. So. Yep. Looks like it is still under construction. And they used to have portion of the church open to the public but now that does not even seem to be the case anymore I get so many things are open canceling services wow so services are cancelled there's no congregation but it, but it makes sense because uh the new uh, state of emergency states that no more than 500 people can congregate in one area, but I think New York City has taken it a little, a little further to uh, 50 people or more. And I believe the central government, the federal government, doesn't want uh, more than 10 people to congregate in one area because... Uh, the chances that the disease will uh, pass on to many people is, you know, is higher. I'm no expert in this, but uh, things are getting serious. So this is Wall Street, and this is uh, around 5.30 uh, maybe. I uh, don't have my time, but look at this. It's super quiet, nothing is going on. No one is... Uh, I mean, there's people, as you can see, but this is not normal. This is not normal for Wall Street. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can get closer. few weeks ago you were able to walk through this path it wasn't cornered off to the public at least you could uh, walk a little closer but today they have put this uh, metal fence here so that people are not uh, getting closer to the building this is uh, the New York Stock Exchange building by the way I should have mentioned it earlier go by the other side, by the most uh, recognizable side, so that you will be able to see it. But as you can see, this metal fence is getting closer and closer to uh, the pedestrian walk. a lot of security here obviously you know you can't just walk into um, the New York Stock Exchange but now even more there's this these metal fences here that are pushed outwards that are preventing people from uh, getting closer This will definitely be a test to the nation to come together and 
fight this uh, evil that's up on us. And this is the uh, New York Stock Exchange. It seems awfully, awfully quiet. have been uh, following the market it has been tanking every day it looks like a bloodbath four or five percent down every day uh, people selling precious metals hoarding on the cash look at this oh yeah that's equinox by the way I believe it's a very fancy gym. I've never been inside, but I have walked by a couple of their locations. It looks fancy. And this, this location is probably the fanciest, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, anyways, gyms are closed. Museums are closed. There's not much going on. So, let's see. There are reporters. This is a museum. It's a national museum. And I can see a sign by the door. I don't want to distract the people that are working there. I doubt uh, if I can if I can even go to the front door. I mean, I can, but I don't think I can go in. The museums are closed as well. Yes, this used to be the happening place where a lot of things uh, would be going on. Meaning, you know, tourists, student groups coming in learning about the history of New York, specifically this area and different parts of New York. For those of you who don't know, New York used to be the capital of the United States before Washington, D.C. That's right. This used to be the place where everything used to happen. You know, all the go government offices used to be here before D.C. Yeah, so don't ask me about the dates and so on, details of it. That's what I remember. Anyways, back to the markets. They have been tanking on average about 5% a day. That's huge. That's huge. 
pretty much in the bear territory. All the uh, tech companies have lost uh, possibly close to a um, trillion dollars in value. Uh, don't quote me on the numbers. I haven't looked at it since uh, maybe three or four days ago. It might have changed. But things are not looking good. I hope uh, we can avoid the recession or at least make it short and quick with uh, sweeping actions uh, from the government, from our treasury, and of course, you know, coordinated uh, efforts by different governments across the world as well. Things are scary right now for everyone. building. Looks like there's some uh, construction going on. This is the famous Trump Tower that lots of people know about. And there's another one, of course, on Fifth Avenue as famous. There's a few in the city, but uh, one or two or three of them are really popular by tourists. This one being, you know, the fact that it's uh, close to the financial district and tourist attractions makes it famous. As usual, as always, there's a lot of security. You can't just drive here. For obvious reasons. I purposely came here during rush hour to see what it looked like. If I had come here maybe you know at 10 a.m., maybe 3 p.m., I might be I might I might expect this, but not during rush hour. That goes to show you a lot of people are working from home. Uh, a lot of businesses are not running their business and uh, laying off people, furloughing people. I believe the Hilton, Marriott, and you know major hotels are laying off people because they're losing a lot of business. I would assume it's like a temporary uh, closing of businesses. I hope uh, it's not permanent. Look at this financial district on a Wednesday, rush hour. This is the Fosun Plaza. Yeah, I haven't been here for some time now.
increasing number of people are wearing a mask, protecting themselves, uh, wearing gloves, understandably so. Things uh, are getting serious, too serious, too fast. I hope it doesn't stay that way for too long. I'm gonna stop here at Dwayne Reed, one of the local pharmacies or slash grocery uh, slash store, to see if I can find the sanitizer. so many stores, no sanitizers, no Clorox, no cleaning supplies that contain alcohol. Everything is gone. At least uh, this, this uh, store looks fully stacked. sanitizers. Do you guys have sanitizers by any chance? Clorox? Everything's sold out. Nothing with alcohol in it. As soon as you get the shipment, it gets sold out. Yeah, I used to like, every store used to have that, those small ones, you know? that nobody wanted to buy but now yeah those are sold out too right thank you all right guess uh i was not lucky right now i'll try a different place so this has been my new hobby now uh, trying to find uh, sanitizer Clorox. Any, any of those, you know, Lysol, it is not easy. I might have to dedicate a day to finding these, these products. The problem is a lot of these stores, as soon as they get a shipment, they sell out in 10, 15 minutes because a lot of people stand and wait by the door, waiting for shipments, 6, 7 a.m., walk in before they go to work, or they just wake up at that time and buy everything. And uh, there's no limit, so they buy as much as they can, and sometimes they buy it so that they can resell it for a higher price. But one thing is for, for certain in New York, the streets are dirty, trash is everywhere. That's for certain, that wouldn't change in New York. There might be less people on the streets would be open. Inside it's a very nice station. One of my favorite coffee shops in the city is right there. And you can see it with the one with the blue signage. And there's Starbucks obviously. But yeah, it's so quiet. Even the water fountains are turned off. At least there's a decent number of people. Not nearly as many as uh, there used to be.
I have been in this area on a Sunday, and uh, this is how it is on, on a Sunday when the markets are closed and uh, no one is here. But seeing this on a Wednesday is uh, a little uncomfortable. to the right on this side and uh, explore a bit. I think I should start counting how many people, how many people I see with a mask. finally caved in and I uh, went to the store, a couple of stores actually asking for a mask, but obviously sold out. It's like a prized commodity right now, along with sanitizers, Clorox, Lysol, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. You know, today uh, I learned that uh, a lot of stores are also running out of vodka. Since, uh, since people are running out of options, they are using alcohol, meaning like no li liquor, as, as, as you know, disinfectant wipe, you know, with uh, using it with... Uh, Paper towels, towels, and so on. Hard times. Towels. Now I'm crossing Pearl Street, close to Wall Street. This whole area is, the, is, uh, is part of the uh, financial district. Let's see what's going on on that side. So most of most of the restaurants, and maybe not most. Uh, I mean, I don't have the figures, but uh, since they since they're not allowed to have dine in, since uh, dining in, staying uh, and eating inside a restaurant or a cafe or a coffee shop is illegal now, they resorted to just completely closing business until things uh, settle down. But some businesses have resorted to working limited hours while serving to go or delivery, takeout or delivery. Look at that. Trash always, always on the streets, regardless of uh, what we go through. And 
that stinks. Oh my god, it smells really bad. More trash. How else would you know that this is New York City? There's no trash piled up, right? So, yeah, um, some businesses have resorted to just closing business temporarily until things settle down. And some are working with limited hours, significantly limited hours, I should say. There's one breakfast place that I go to that I go to often that opens from 7 or 8 a.m. until I think 7 or 8 p.m. Now they're open from 8 to 2 or 3. And they said uh, they might limit the hours even more. Huh, luxury apartment rentals. I would assume uh, rent has gone down now. So you can do a takeout, but you cannot sit and eat inside. I learned uh, some restaurants don't even allow you to linger inside until your order is ready. Because some people will, you know, stay inside, try to eat, you know, standing up quickly and go to work or wherever they have to go and that's not allowed either if you got your food or until you get your food you wait outside and once you do you leave I'm getting closer to William Street still part of the financial district. The ones popular bars and restaurants are now closed. Small businesses must be hurting a lot at this time. here. I hope uh, you got an idea of uh, what New York looks like under this state of emergency and how things are changing quickly. And uh, stay-ins are not, uh, I mean, they, they thought about doing a stay-in shelter in. I hope they don't. They said uh, they will make a decision in about 48 hours, but I hope uh, they don't make that decision because it would be much more difficult for the city. The city would be in a, in a worse condition than it is now. All right, this is Walk, Ride, Fly, ending my report for March 18th, Wednesday, March 18th. Uh, got that wrong. No, I didn't. Okay. Awesome. Take care. Stay safe.